This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at what is composable diffusion. So previously, I have covered various AI based methods for generating images from text captions like DALI, DALI2, Google Imagen and Stable Diffusion. Okay. Now comes composable diffusion. So how is it different from all these models? Okay. So I was actually browsing MIT news today and then I came across this an AI system makes models like DALI 2 more creative. Okay. So the thing is that when you give a DALI 2 a large caption, okay, what it, it does is that it makes use of a diffusion model where it tries to encode the entire text into one description to generate an image. But once the text has lot more details, it is hard for a single description to capture it all. Moreover, while they are flexible, they sometimes struggle to understand the composition of certain concepts like confusing the attributes or relationships between different objects. So this is where to generate more complex images with better understanding, scientists from MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, they structured the typical model from a different angle. They added a series of models together where they all cooperate to generate desired images capturing multiple different aspects as requested by the input text or labels. To create an image with two components described by two sentences of description, each model would tackle a particular component of the image. So this is the idea over here. So basically there is a composition of diffusion models. Okay. So if you go to the uh, project page of composable diffusion, th there is also this paper which has been published. Okay. So here they have actually, they have demos over here. For example, this is a demo of, uh, you know, this is a text prompt which says a cloudy blue sky and a mountain in the horizon and cherry blossoms around the mountain. Okay. And these were some of the images which were generated. So how it happens is that a cloudy blue sky is generated by a diffusion model. A mountain in the horizon is also um, another uh, diffusion model. Cherry blossoms around the mo mountain is another diffusion model. And then the results are kind of combined. So that is what they've explained over here, the compositional generation. So our method can compose multiple diffusion models during inference and generate images containing all the concepts described in the inputs without further training. We first send an image from iteration T and each individual concept to the diffusion model to generate a set of scores. We then compose different concepts using the proposed compositional operator such as conjunction to denoise the generated images. The final image is obtained after T iteration. So that is the idea over here which is shown in this video. So there is this road leading into the mountains which is given to the diffusion models along with the generated image. There is a score. Then you have yellow trees on the side of the road, which is also given at a particular iteration to the diffusion model, which also generates another score. And then they have a concept conjunction to finally generate the image, which is the final image. Okay. So it makes use of pre-trained diffusion models and then combines them. Each diffusion model kind of focuses on one of the concept. Okay. And based on that, you get better images. That is what is written over here. So they have some more results. They're saying, uh, they are saying that composing language descriptions. We develop Compose Glide, a version of Glide that utilizes our compositional operators to combine textual descriptions without further training. We compare it to the original Glide, which directly encodes the description as a single long sentence. Our approach more accurately captures the text details. Okay. For example, this particular text, okay. It says a pink sky in the horizon and a sailboat at the sea and over water bungalows. So if you see over here, this is generated by glide, whereas this is more accurate over here. Okay. A white church sitting on a hill and aurora in the sky. So this is just a white church, which is being generated, but here it is, you know, the aurora is also there here, a starry night sky and a polar bear in a forest. This is what is generated by glide. This is generated by this composed, uh, what do you call, uh, composable diffusion. Okay. So here uh, they have more prompts. Okay. Uh, so maybe we can look at one more prompt, uh, prompt. So a horse and a yellow flower field. Okay. So these are the images which have been generated over here. Okay. This is using stable diffusion. Now, if you are using glide, then these are the 
um, uh, images which have been generated okay so the idea is quite nice about how you can actually combine diffusion models which have been pre-trained and then you can get better images generated for long text captions where you have concepts present okay so they have a hugging space demo as well where you can go and play around with it so let us try something over here uh, one of my favorite captions is actually uh, let me put it as uh, bangalore city and maybe lightning in the background maybe it is good let's see what kind of image gets generated over here it takes around uh, 10 seconds i believe uh, yeah 30 seconds per stable diffusion example okay so it takes around 30 seconds over here for this uh, uh, image to be generated let's see what kind of images is generated over here we need to wait for some more time maybe another five seconds yeah so this is the kind of image which has been generated which is quite nice okay maybe if i were to change it to taj mahal right and let's submit and see how it looks like another uh, yeah now it is close to a minute but we need to wait for it let's wait So this is the kind of image generated, um, not that great, I would say, but at least, uh, yeah, not that great. Uh, yeah. So maybe this concept is not known well, uh, in the training data or something like that. Okay. What if I put FL tower? So when this gets generated, we can have a quick look at the paper. Uh, so this is the paper which talks about compositional visual generation with uh, composable diffusion models. And uh, here they have actually explained in detail their method and how they have done this work. Uh, so probably uh, you can read this paper to understand more about uh, composable diffusion. Okay. Um, so here I think they have a figure which explains composable diffusion somewhere. I had seen that. Uh, the same figure which was present earlier yeah this is that figure which talks about uh, what is compositional generation okay let's see if our images have been generated yeah again not that great i would say so maybe for some cases it doesn't work uh, well so you can also try out this hugging face space for uh, composable diffusion models and try out different prompts and see what kind of images are getting generated they also have a collab demo which you can try out to see what kind of images are getting generated okay i hope this video on uh, composable diffusion is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel i'll be sharing all the links over here the project link the hugging face space link uh, the paper uh, in the description of the video see you in another video happy learning